once again with John uh, Lefebvre. Yes. Back Hello. with a new uh, invention for the for the hackers and the makers in the world. Tell yes. Us, tell us what you're showing off this year. That's right. Nice to meet you, Steve. <laughs> what <laughs> are you showing off this year? Yes, uh, this is uh, the name of this product is a 3D pad. Uh, it's a system that you can interact without touching your screen. You can see the cursor moving on the screen here. And you can recognize gestures, rotations, push, or uh, gestures with translations, etc. That's cool. So, uh, and what, 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 what kind of applications can we use this? Is it in, oh. is it in mm. robotics, in gaming? Yeah, uh, first of all, I, I have to say that it's an open source and open hardware project okay. under Arduino. Okay. And my goal is to uh, to give it to every uh, makers and hackers, and they will find the big application. Okay. But in my opinion, the best use case at the moment is for gaming. Okay. Imagine you've got a character running on the screen. Okay. You can make right, left movements, jump, etc. Okay. Also, okay. you can play ping pong. Why not? Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> good. Yes. Sounds looks looks excellent. So, are you going to be presenting this at other shows? Are you looking for uh, yes. financial backing? What's what are your plans right um, now? Um, my main goal is to raise funds uh, with a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo. Okay. Uh, if everything goes well, it will be launched in May. Okay. But uh, before, you will have the description into this magazine. Okay, Elector. Elector, yes. It's for uh, electronicians and makers. Okay. And you will have the description of the, uh, the system. And also, we will present it at the Maker Fair in Paris. Uh, in June. In June 2014. Okay. So okay. Uh, the campaign, the crowdfunding campaign should be on May, June. Okay, okay, yeah. just in time for the show. Yes, that's right. Great, so, uh, um, well... About robotics, yes, you can improve uh, the interactivity of uh, robots to have fun with you. Imagine okay. if you have this kind of sensor uh, onto an exoskelet. Okay. The robot will be able to sense you Okay. A few centimeters. Okay. And also for co-working robots, it's a serious application. Okay. If the robot is able to sense your body at few centimeters, he will uh, it will uh, be more friendly with you. Okay. Because he will not hurt your body. Okay. That's okay. the idea. Great. So mm. it sounds like there's a lot of applications both in gaming, uh, computing, right. and in yes. and in robotics. Yes. You know the, the field of application is very wide, mm -hmm. and I can't wait to see what the makers and hackers will imagine to do with this uh, interface. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Well, thanks a lot for presenting that to us, Noel. Thank Funders, you, Funders, financiers, if you want to invest in a great project, <laughs> get in contact with, uh, with, Jean. <laughs> with Jean at and, uh, Outside the, project, the Box. Yes, the name of the project is uh, Outside Box. Outside yes. Box. You have a website? Yes, for sure. Okay. Uh, we are also on social networks, Facebook okay. and Twitter, of course. Okay. But uh, for sure, you will have the links under the video on YouTube, I, okay. su I suppose. Okay, so check out Outside <laughs> Box on YouTube to get more information. Yes. Thank you very much and see you next year. Thank you, Steve. Probably with something new. Bye-bye.